We do changing beliefs and perceptions because we now know that when you accept, believe, and surrender to any thought without analysis, you begin to program your autonomic nervous system to make its own pharmacy of chemicals that allow your brain and body to literally live in the future. And so, I'd like to explain the three different sections of this meditation so you understand what you're doing and why. The first part of the meditation is what we call the induction. The induction is a way for you to change your brainwave patterns. Based on our research and the research of other experts around the world, it seems that people are able to control their brainwave patterns when they go from a narrow focus on objects and things to an open focus on space and on nothing. And when you begin to rest your awareness in different parts of your body, and you become aware of the space around your body, the brain does some magical things. First thing, it changes from beta brainwave patterns to alpha brainwave patterns. And in alpha, the inner world is more real than your outer world, and you're moving closer to your subconscious mind, where you're able to program your autonomic nervous system to work for you. We also know that when you're sensing and you're feeling, you're not thinking so the analytical mind slows down. The purpose of meditation is to get beyond your analytical mind. So this is training for you to move beyond your conscious mind, past your analytical mind, and into your subconscious mind. We also know that when you open your focus, you move to more coherent, organized, integrated brainwave patterns. Now, waves that are synchronized Waves that are coherent, waves that are rhythmic in the brain, create a more whole state for human beings. And what syncs together in the brain, links together in the brain. So when you open your focus, that's the moment different compartments of your brain that were no longer communicating with each other because they have been programmed by the hormones of stress, begin to work in a more unified fashion. And so if you're focusing on objects and people and things and places, and you're living under the gun of the fight-or-flight nervous system, your brain mimics the exact same place your attention is. So your brain gets very incoherent. Now, we know, because we've measured over 750 different brains, that when people tend to open their focus, they're able to slip into altered states. And they can do that as if it was a skill just like golf or tennis. So there's a reason why we do it. We're going to ask you to take your time and stay present, and it will be a beginning step for you, and if you continue or become more interested in this work, we will use that to build greater understandings and do other practices. So that's the induction. It's to change your brain waves. The second part, based on our research again, we now know that you and I are at our absolute best when we get out of the way. And when we get out of the way, that's the moment that intelligence that's giving us life, the power within us, can begin to work with us. So if you think that you're a body, and you think that you're an identity, and you think that you're a gender, and a face, and a profession, and a certain body weight, and you think that you're a certain color hair, and you think you're your wardrobe, and the car that you drive, and the place that you work, and the place that you live, in this particular line of time, then you're subject to the laws of the body, the environment, and time. And again, when we've measured hundreds and hundreds of people, that when they get beyond their bodies, when they forget that they have a body, when they forget that they have an identity, when they forget that they're a face, or they forget that they own certain things, or they forget that they are in any place, and they get beyond time, when they become nobody, no one, no thing, nowhere, and no time, they become pure consciousness. And only when you are pure consciousness, only when you are a thought alone, are you able to heal or change by thought alone. Which means then, when you get to that place in that infinite blackness, where you are no longer identifying as a person, as a body, living in this particular environment and living in linear time, 
The moment you are pure consciousness, that's the moment you walk through the door to the quantum field. You can't walk through the door to the quantum field as a somebody. You have to walk through the door as a nobody. And if you want something to manifest in your life out of nowhere, then you have to get to nowhere. And if you want to heal by thought alone, then you have to become thought alone. Now, in those moments where we allow you to linger in that place beyond space and time, there's a reason behind that, because that is the perfect place to create from. And whatever you experience in the realm beyond space and time and emotionally embrace must manifest in this space and time. It's the law. So when you get to that elegant moment where you've dissociated from your body, your environment, and time, that's the moment you have dominion over your body. That's the moment you can change something in your environment. And that's the moment you can create some future time. And so we'll allow you to linger in this place. Don't be afraid of it. There's no light there. There's no people there. There's no things there. There's no place to go. You're in the part of the atom that's 99.999% possibility. And I want you to get comfortable in that place. And if you can get comfortable in this place, you will begin to be in the present moment, the eternal now. And when you're in the present moment, all possibilities and all potentials exist in the present. And when we begin to train the brain and body into the present moment, now we're able to create. So that's the second part. The third part is about changing beliefs and perceptions. And in order for you to change a belief or a perception about yourself and your life, you have to make a decision with such firm intention that the amplitude of that decision carries a level of energy that's greater than the hardwired programs in your brain and the emotional addictions in your body and your body has to respond to a new mind. In other words, the choice that you make is a decision that you never forget because the experience that you're having internally carries an amplitude of energy that's greater than any past experience. Now, experiences create emotions and emotions create long-term memories. So when you make a decision and come out of your resting state and your body is lifted to a new mind, that's the moment you're no longer being defined in your past-present reality. You're making a decision and you're being defined by a future-present reality. And your body then begins to get a sampling of the future. So think about it. How does the mother whose child is trapped under the car lift up the entire car and pull the child out? It's energy that does that. It's not matter. When you come out of your resting state, I'm going to ask you to become more energy and less matter. And when you make that decision, there's a level of finality to it that says that your body now is no longer in the past. And when you do that properly and you come out of your resting state, your body is being signaled emotionally and new genes are being activated and you are literally changing your biological state by changing your energy. I hope you enjoy it. Now, can you rest your awareness in the space between your eyes in space? And can you sense the energy of space 
between your eyes in space. And now, can you become aware of the space between your temples in space? And can you sense the volume of space between your temples in space? aware of the space that your nostrils occupy in space And can you sense the volume of space that the inside of your nose occupies in space? space between your tongue and the back of your throat in space. And can you sense the volume of space that the back of your throat occupies in space? And now, can you sense the energy of space around your ears in space? And can you feel 
the energy of space beyond your ears in space. And can you become aware of the space below your chin in space? And can you feel the volume of space around your neck in space And now, can you sense the space beyond your chest in space? And can you feel the energy of space around your chest in space? And now, can you become aware of the volume of space beyond your shoulders in space? And can you sense the energy of space around your shoulders? In space. And now, can you become aware of the space behind your back in space?
And can you feel the energy of space beyond your spine? in space. And now, can you rest your awareness in the space between your thighs in space the energy of space connecting your knees in space the volume of space around your feet in space in space. And can you become aware of the space around your entire body in space? And can you sense the energy of space beyond your body in space? Can you 
become aware of the space between your body and the walls of the room in space and can you sense the volume of space that the entire room occupies in space and now can you become aware of the space that all of space occupies in space and can you sense the space that all of space takes up in space And now, it's time to become nobody, no one, no thing, nowhere, in no time, to become pure consciousness. To become an awareness in the infinite field of potentials and to invest your energy into possibility. And the longer you linger in the unknown, the more you draw the unknown to you. simply become a thought in the blackness of infinity and unfold your awareness into no thing into nobody into no time And the more you focus on the unknown, the more you bring a new life to you. Allow your awareness to move from particle to wave, from matter to consciousness, from the material to the immaterial, 
from space and time to no time and to no space. From the world of the senses to a world beyond the senses. From the known to the unknown. And if you, as the quantum observer, find your mind returning to the known, to familiar people, to things or places in your known reality, to your body, to your habits, your identity, your emotions, to time, to the past or the predictable future, simply become aware that you're observing the known and surrender your consciousness back into the void of possibilities and become no one, no body, no thing, nowhere, in no time. Unfold your awareness back into the immaterial realm of all quantum potentials, into the blackness of eternity. And the more you become awareness, and the more you become an awareness in possibility, the more you create possibility an opportunity in your life. Stay present.
now, what was that belief or perception that you wanted to change about yourself and your life? Continue to believe and perceive in this way? If not, it's time to make a decision with such firm intention that the amplitude of that decision carries a level of energy that's greater than the hardwired programs in your brain and the emotional addictions in your body and allow your body to respond to a new mind and allow the choice to become an experience that you never forget. And allow the inward experience to produce an emotion with such energy that it rewrites the programs and changes your biology. Come out of your resting state and change your energy so that your biology is altered by your own energy. become inspired and make the choice be greater than your past become inspired become empowered be moved by your own energy to a greater mind just let go and give it up to the field of possibilities returning it back to energy
What do you want to believe and perceive about yourself and your life? And how would that feel? Come on, move into a new state of being. And allow your body to be lifted to a new mind. And let the energy of this choice Rewrite the circuits in your brain and change the genes in your body and allow your body to be liberated from the past into a new future. Change your energy by combining a clear intention with an elevated emotion so that matter is lifted to a new mind. And I'll let the choice carry an amplitude of energy that's greater than any past experience. And let your body be altered by your consciousness. by your energy and shift into a new state of being and make this moment define you and let this internal process this experience carries such an elevated emotional energy that it becomes a memory that you never forget. Can you teach your body emotionally what it would feel like to believe in this way? To be empowered. To be moved by your own greatness. To be invincible. To have courage. To be in love with life. To feel unlimited. To live as if your prayers are already answered. Give your body a taste of the future. 
signaling new genes and new ways. Your energy is what affects matter. And when you change your energy, you change your body. Come on, make your mind matter. And from this new state of being, how will you live? What choices will you make? What behaviors will you demonstrate? And what experiences can you observe from this state of being and how? Will it feel? To believe in possibility. To believe in yourself. To be healed. To be free. To be moved. By the Spirit. Come on, love your future into life. It's your creation. Fall in love with it from this state of being. Nurture it with your attention. For wherever you place your attention, is where you place your energy. Invest in your future by observing it and be defined by a new future instead of the familiar past. Open your heart and allow your body to become moved by your own inward experience. For whatever you truly experience in possibility and emotionally embrace will ultimately find you in some future time. From thought into energy into matter. Now let go and give it up to a greater intelligence and allow it to be executed in a way that's right for you. Take your left hand and place it over your heart.
and I want you to bless your body that it be lifted to a new mind to a new energy and to bless your life that it be an extension of your mind that your state of being be reflected in your world and to bless your future that it never be your past and to bless your past that it turn to wisdom and to bless the challenges in your life that they initiate you into greatness and to bless your soul that it wakes you up from this dream and that it be your guide and to bless the unseen in you that that energy move in you that it stirs in you that it moves through you and that it moves all around you that it mind that its mind become your mind that its nature become your nature that its will become your will and its love for life become your love for life and that it shows cause by signaling you in your life in some way to let you know that it's real and now if the thought sends the signal out and the feeling draws the event back to you i want you to move into a state of gratitude and to give thanks for a new life before it's made manifest For the emotional signature of gratitude means the event has already happened. And the longer you linger in gratitude, the more you draw your new life to you. For gratitude is the ultimate state of receivership. And now bring your awareness back to a new body, to a new life. Into a whole new future time. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes.